Hello, my lady loves and fellas, if you happen to be listening. So I wanted to do this particular video, and if you haven't seen the title, ladies, you cannot buy a guy's love. So this video actually piggybacks on my previous video uh, where there's a scenario where a young lady was buying this guy's, trying to buy his love um, in return to gain some sort of attention, affection, or just a simple relationship. So that's what we're talking about. So listen, when, you, when I say you cannot buy someone's love, that is a very true statement. Can you buy a guy's attention? Yes. Can you buy this guy's time? Yes, you can. But to gain his heart, that is going to have to be given to you willingly. Okay. And if you're unaware that the average guy typically knows what it is he desires from a woman. Keyword, desire. See, a man generally doesn't go after what it is that he need unless unless he's quite old fashioned and heavily religious, you know, has those old fashioned values to where he goes with what he needs versus what he wants. Then yes, by all means, because not every guy is the same. Typically, generally speaking, most men know what it is that they desire initially from the very beginning. So if he's going to pursue you, there has to be something there, right? To indicate that he's going to continuously date you and, and show interest. However, if you have found yourself wanting to do more, to do the most, to get this guy's attention, you know, quality time, to hell just to simply like you, which most people are wanting today, is they just simply want to be liked. If you have put, found yourself in this particular situation, there is a reason for that. And of course you may say, oh, well, I'm somewhat desperate now, I'm getting older, or I need some sort of affection. I'm tired of being alone. I'm, I can't do this whole lonely thing forever. Or hell, I'm just simply horny. You know, let's just be real. Yes, those are typical issues to why you would put yourself out there more, do the most to make this person want you. Look, all of that may keep him for a little while because he may be trying to take advantage of you or the situation or just stick around to the next best thing comes along or the person that he truly wants to be with, who he truly wants to give his heart to comes about. But the real reason that you're doing this, okay, I'm just going to be real with you. The real reason that you're doing this is because intuition has kicked in either from the very beginning or somewhere between now and then your spidey sense has kicked in alerting you that hey this is not a forever guy hell this isn't even a long-term type of guy he's hard to attain he may not be the committal type he may not be all that interested in you so what do you do instinctively you react and your reaction is to do whatever it takes to get him and to keep him. So if that means allowing him to borrow money or to spend, you know, money on him, buying gifts, willing to hell, even babysit his child or children, just going above and beyond cooking meals, this sort of thing, cleaning his home. You're trying to show him something. You're trying to show what you think it is that he needs. Wife and material or someone who's going to be faithful and loyal, submissive even. Whatever it is, whatever this type of guy, you're, you're putting, putting on this display. Not necessarily this isn't who you are, but you're doing the most here. Okay, let's, let's just be clear. And by doing that, this sort of behavior only deters a guy. Allow me to reiterate. If he is staying around, it is because he's simply taking advantage of the situation as well as you. Or there's another ulterior reason or motive for doing so. So if you're finding yourself wanting to do the most to attain a guy, 
It is because you already know he's not going to stay, that he's not the staying type. Or perhaps in your previous encounters, this has occurred. Okay. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's you, that you're flawed or anything like that. It's just that men are quite selective of who it is that they want to be with long term. Because truth be told, a guy could be with a woman for 10 years and his heart could be someplace else. He's with you, but he's itching and dying to be someplace else. And the reason why he isn't there, well, he probably effed up or maybe they did. And circumstances does not allow that. So you get do all of that and still not be able to get his heart. Though you may get him, you know, in the flesh, but never his heart. And so why, so this is why it is imperative that you try to find someone who's going to show you more interest. And I hear this all the time. They say, always date a guy who's more interested in you. And you'll know that right away because you feel as if, okay, maybe he's putting on airs or he's doing too much or something to that effect, but it may not be the case. And he may actually really be into you. All right. Again, it may not be you. That's, that's flawed. Guys can get turned off or put them, put, you know, put everything on pause for whatever reason. It could just be simple things. They're different like that, you know. Because the reality is the longer you are around someone, they're either going to like you more or less. And the more he sees from you and hears from you, it may not be what it is that, you know, that's appealing to him or doesn't do anything for him. So it's all about you, you finding the right person who is ideal for you and is going to give you all of that that you need from someone. He's going to have to show you more Take the extra mile and go the distance to be with you. But if you're not getting that, then it's no, it is no point. It is quite pointless to try to push the issue. Okay. You're trying to force something that's not quite fitting. And as a result of that, well, if you've done that before, I'm sure you already know. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that bit of advice with you all. You know, perhaps it's a sign that you should probably... Take all the, the rest of that time and invest it in yourself. Love on yourself first, and then you'll find the right individual. And if it isn't meant to be, well, then that, that's what it is. Everyone isn't going to find love on this planet. I promise you that. All right? It's not guaranteed, and it's it just simply isn't possible. So you're going to have to find ways to love on yourself first. And maybe God or the universe will bless you with the proper mate. But to put yourself all out there to be taken advantage of, to be disrespected, because that's that's a surefire way to become disrespected and unappreciated. Okay, just just keep that in mind. You want someone to give you all of that reciprocal interest, and hopefully that will blossom into actual genuine love. All right, loves. All right, just thought I'd share that with you. If you need further dating coaching, all of my information will be linked down below. I thank you all for joining me always. That is all for now. Until next time.